Welcome to South Sudan Rode. Thank you. It's nice to have you around. I think South Sudan has become one of my favorite countries in Africa. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I, I, I'm, I'm really having a good time. Great. Because when I was coming, everyone was telling me not to come. And I come in here and I'm meeting nice people, beautiful people. I mean, telling me, welcome to our beautiful country. A country of <laughs> slim, dark, and tall. I'm not slim. <laughs> oh, you're not? I, I, I wanted to know, are you South Sudanese? I am South oh, Sudanese. Which tribe are you? Definitely. I'm a Dinka. Please, I, I thought all Dinkas are tall. I am tall. Really? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think I... Can, can we check? I'm definitely taller ah, than But you can't be taller than me. I'm definitely ah, taller than I'm me. Significantly, actually. I'm okay. <laughs> okay, alright. I'm, I'm no longer standing. Yeah, but... I mean, that, that's what I heard. I, I heard that Dinkas are really tall. Yeah. And um, you just confirmed that Dinkas are really tall. I can't wait to um, do a video on the tallest women on earth, being the yeah. Dinka people. That's impressive. But, I mean, the food is almost done. Do you guys have Uber boats in here? Because I, um, I... Unfortunately, we don't. But we do have our local, like, um, taxi uh, service that you can order online. Wow. It's called Shiluana. Shiluana. Yeah. It's owned by it's owned by a South Sudanese. It was really? developed in South Sudan. That's um, amazing. Yeah, I mean it's relatively very cheap. Mm. And well, quite efficient actually. Which is this guy's really filling the gap, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Amazing. But do you know the person? Because I always tell stories, positive stories about Africa. I actually do know the person. You His know him? Dude, yeah. Oh really? Is he around here? Yeah, actually not far from here. His office is... Um, he's always in his office. So always in his office? Sure. Amazing. I mean, I don't know if he, he is willing to speak to me because I would love to tell his story. I mean, definitely. I'm sure he will. Alright. Since you're taking me there, is it possible for us to use his own cup to go there? Yeah, for sure. I mean, can you tell me the name of the app so that I can download it? It's called Shilu Anna. Shilu? Anna. Anna sounds like a name of a An Anna, no. a girl, yeah. Anna in Arabic means me. Me. So basically, the translation is take me Shilu Anna. Can I just say this? Take me to meet the CEO behind this amazing app. Yeah, definitely. I'm sure he'll be Thank glad. You. My name is Wadamaya and it's a pleasure meeting you. Um, you're one of the people that are changing the narrative of South Sudan. I heard that Uber doesn't exist yet. And you are the man behind Shilu Anna. How true is that? Yes, uh, first of all, welcome to South Sudan. Thank you. Uh, yes, I'm happy you are with us here. Mm. My name is Dudu Yak. Okay. Yes, uh, actually, Uber is not exist, but we have Shilu Anna. Shilo Anna. Yes. I mean, I want to know what really inspired Shilo Anna. Okay. Uh, Shilo Anna it was just the idea. Uh, we are going because we don't have like over. We don't have any taxi application. So I came up with the idea Shilo Anna. Okay. Actually, it was a reaction from the people who. I was with them in one of the IT conference in India. Mm. Then they would start asking me what the service you have, like the fiber of that. Like they, they were asking you the service you have yes. in your country? Yes. What taxi application do you have? Unfortunately, at that time, I don't have 
a five in South Sudan, <laughs> and I don't have even a single text application in the South Sudan. Okay. So I say, let me come back and do it. Do it. Wow. Yeah. But are you an IT person, or you just decided to pay someone to do it for you? No, I'm IT by professional. Oh, okay. Yes, I have seven years. Experience. Experience. I've been working in Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Emirates, Syria before the crisis. Uh, finally, I came back to South Sudan. Were you born here? I born in Khartoum. Khartoum, Sudan. Yes, Sudan. So you speak Arabic? I speak Arabic very well. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> so like you're born in Khartoum and what happened? Did you leave Khartoum to anywhere? Yes, I studied uh, primary school. In Khartoum, the high school in Khartoum. Then I went to Egypt. I studied the university there. Okay. I came back to Khartoum. I worked for two years, and I got an opportunity outside. Okay. The country. And I. Which country did you go to? First of all, I went to Emirates. Okay. I worked there. And then there's the people who actually own the company in Emirates. They have another plan in Saudi Arabia. Okay. So again, they shift me to Saudi Arabia. Okay. For some time, then again to Syria. And again, I came back. <laughs> no, I, I, I want to know, yeah, what brought you back to South Sudan? Because you're not born here, yes. but you know you're from here. Yes. But what brought you back? Okay, uh, after independence from Sudan, okay, uh, the country was just new, it's fresh, and there's a lot of opportunities in South Sudan. For me, as a professional in IT, I know there is a lot of opportunities related to my field. Okay. Uh, let me come, start my own business. Yes, I will struggle, but I'm sure I will make some difference. So your main goal is to make a difference in South Sudan. Yes. I mean, how long have you been back since? How long? I back in 2012. After independence? After you, independence. Immediate. So you were just waiting for the country to have independence yes. before you come yes. back? Yes, then I came back. Was the um, Shilu yes. Anna your first ever? No, it was not. The, actually, uh, when I came back, mm. I joined the Central Bank. Okay. Yes, Central Bank of South Sudan. Central Bank of South Sudan? Yes. That was what you were working at? No, I resigned. The, when you came back to South Sudan, yes. you were working for... No, when I came back to South Sudan, I was I created a company for IT. Okay. Then there is the Central Bank offered me a job okay. in my okay. Uh, yes. Then I went there. I worked for them for some time, but I find myself uh, outside there. I can do more than inside. Inside. So I resigned and I created my own business. Wow. Yes. And since you created your own business, do you think it's worth it? Yes. Now, in terms of money, not yet. <laughs> but I believe what had it percent. After two years, it would be different. Plus, it's worse because I create like sixty something jobs for young. For this, for me, is something it's very good. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Uh, like you mean that you've created over sixty jobs for young people. So now we have. 64 jobs drivers operators networking database marketing all this that's impressive so the ceo of shilu Anna told me that he's actually happy because he has been able to employ 64 people after quitting his job to create his own taxi booking app and i just want to know if he is happy are the drivers also happy working for him are you happy working for Shiloh Anna? Yeah, of course. I got two drivers in the car, one at the back and um, another one in here. Um, you you happy working for him? Very happy. Very very happy. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And um, like okay, do people of Juba like the service? Yeah, they like it very much because uh, we, are, we have uh, affordable price in this market of uh, of uh, taxis. Yeah. Whoa. That, that's impressive, man. So, like, you go everywhere in Juba, right? Yeah, everywhere in Juba. Everywhere in Juba. So, let's say I, I come from Ghana, I arrive at the airport of Juba, and I want to um, request for Shiloana, will I be able to get one? You can you will get it exactly. Uh, instantly. Instantly? Yeah, instantly. 
amazing, man. You know, let, let, tell us something about Shilo Anna. I mean, how it all started. I mean, did you have your own cars that time? Okay, um, when I start, I, I think to start Shilo Anna, actually, 90% from the people, they do not support me. They say, no, this idea will not work in South Sudan. Why? Because of the internet. We have a very bad internet. At that time, but now. Okay. Now it's improved. Okay. Yes, at that time, we have a very bad internet. Mm -hmm. Plus, the idea is new for the people. Plus, those who have cars in the market, they charge very high. Right. And for our charge is small. Right. So, there is, it's not, it will not make sense for them to join us. Oh. Because they would lose. Hmm. But I say, okay, it's fine. But at the start with our own cars, then time after time they will see this one is better than the other. They will join. So we start with two cars only. Was it your own car? Yes, my car and my wife's car. Amazing. Your wife actually supported you yes. with this. That's actually, impressive. Is my partner. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> your wife is a partner. And how many cars do you have now? Now 17. 17 cars. Yes. That's impressive. 17 now. And um where do we see Shilo Anna in the next five years? Ah. In the next five years, I see myself in a, not even five years, three years, I wish it. According to our plan, three years, we will not work only in Juba. We will add other cities like Wau, Malakai, and so on. So, which means in five years' time, we see Shiloana in Ghana. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I know. <laughs> in five years, what is this Juliana in Ghana? So please, let's put it on the map. Ghana, Nigeria, all over Africa, all of us will be using Shiloana. I, I think hope so. that, that would be very, very interesting. Um, let me know, what are the, some of the difficulties that you face when establishing this whole um, business in South Sudan? Uh, first of all, uh, the taxes. The taxes actually is the one who make everything difficult. Difficult, yes. Plus, um, for us as a taxi company, the fuel every day is increasing. And for me, I cannot increase our rate every day. Also, it's not good. So sometimes we keep our rate as it is, but the market is increasing. Wow. That's the big problem. Plus the inflation, of course, because for us in South Sudan, 90% of our things we imported from outside. So we need dollar. And we are operating uh, using pound. So when I go to the plant market to buy Everything. dollar, then the price has gone up. Price, yes. Um, tell me, do you think that it's time for all the South Sudanese who got displaced because of the war went to different African countries. Some of them even went as far as Europe, America. Um, do you think it's time for them to come back and help develop this beautiful country? Actually, there is people out there. They are still waiting for the right time. But Which one is the wrong. right time? For them, they say that this now is not the right time for this kind of business. Last when I start. People tell me this is not the right time for your business, this kind of business. But I'm sure everyone who thinks I want to do something in this country, let him come. The time is right. It's the matter, just if you have to do the right thing. But if you are waiting for the right time, then you will not make anything. Do you think there are more opportunities in this country? There's still a lot of opportunities. I might feel a lot of opportunities. Is still we are still fresh country. Just come, grab your opportunity, and that is it. Make it happen. Yes. If you have the chance to change something in Africa, what would that be? If I have a chance to change <laughs> the way our politicians think. It's the more important. If they change it, Africa will go very fast. Yes. I just want to say 
thank you so much but let us know where can we find Shiloana Shiloana now in the whole Duba city if you have the apps only just request the nearest car will just arrive in like five to ten minutes mm. yes mm. thank you so much for talking to me and we hope we to see welcome. all over Africa and even the entire world. Thank you so much for having me and I appreciate your time. Peace.